Well, Jim, a lot to speak about. First of all, 9-3 victory today over Whitten Albion. Um, sum the game up for us, if you can. Two open, two open first half. 3-1 um, after, what, I think, 12 minutes, I think it was. It went 4-2, four, 4-5, four, four, I don't know. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a terrible first half uh, for a, a defending uh, point of view. But, yeah, we're obviously over the moon that we've won the door. Is that how you look at the game in terms of, um, you know, we conceded three goals, but is that more than diluted by the fact that we scored nine? Yeah, I'm not going to take anything away from the lads. We've won, you know, it's, but we've also got to improve every game. You know, we, we've won the game. It's as simple mm. as that, but there were mistakes we've got to learn from. And if they don't learn, what's the, what's the point? League double. Um, yep. When you started the season, you couldn't have wished for any more, could you? Uh, no, it was, it's, been a, it's been a good year. Obviously, we've had the lads involved with the reserves. I've managed the reserves a few times. Some of the first team lads were here today watching them, you know, offering their support. It's been, it's been a good season. When the lads first uh, came to the club at the start of the season, how much have they progressed to, to the team we see before us now? Um, you'll see Sam Jordan. I think Sam's a key. Joe bagged four today, I think. Mm. Um, obviously, they've all evolved. They've all listened to us. Um, they've got fitter. A few have got dietary issues that I've, I've pulled them up on, but, you know... They've listened to us, obviously. There was no drinking last night, which which sometimes you get at this age. But no, it was a professional performance. And I guess in terms of like professional performances, as you've alluded to there, uh, they seem to be much more professional in the in the character now as well. Yeah, and they, they want to win. You know, they, mm. they, they showed that even when they were 7 or 8, 3 up, people were, you know, getting on people's backs, you know, for making mistakes. You know, you, you've got to completely learn and keep learning, so... One thing that, which this team um, is known for is scoring a lot of goals, another nine today. Yep. Um, I don't know how many it is overall, but it must have pleased you the, the amount we have scored this year. It's been good for the forward five, but as you see, we, we, we've got to take on now the, you know, the back four, the back five. They've got to learn now, so they've got to learn, and then you've got to pull those midfielders in to help the back four out. So, yeah, it's, it's, we've scored a lot of goals, we're good going forward, and hopefully we'll see what happens next season. Over recent weeks, of course, um, Sean Goat has come in. How much of a help has he been to you? Oh, it's been massive. You know, it's the things, you know, obviously he's played at the highest level. He's played international football, he's played in the Premier League. Uh, it's been massive, massive for the lads. Uh, and, and great for me as a, as a City fan from, from birth, so. Um, obviously, finally, um, what's the plan going forward with this team? Uh, obviously, we're, we're under the Project 21 uh, through Butch for that, so... We're now next season going into the Northwest Development League. Uh, so exciting times. We're going to keep the nucleus of this squad. Some are going to university, some have got contracts in the States with the MLS. We're going to uh, carry on and uh, keep going with Sean and with Ash by my side. Well done on a great season. Thanks, um, Bob. We look forward to following you again. Well, thanks for your help this season, Bob. No problem. Bye.